Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be focusing on a new application that is called Chatbox. Now, this has been around for a while, so you guys probably might have heard about it, but I really wanted to put more emphasis on this application because it's an open source desktop application that is designed to function as an AI co-pilot, which is powered by GPT-4 or GPT-3.5 models. And this is provided by OpenAI's API keys. Now, it is compatible with Windex, or <laughs> Windows, Mac, Linux operating systems, which allows you as a user to access on different platforms and leverage its capabilities. Now, for the people who do not know, this is an amazing application that is an AI co-pilot and basically Chatbox provides users with an action or an interactive way to basically have intelligent conversations as well as experiences with their own chatbot. It utilizes GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 models, which has an advanced language model developed by OpenAI to generate human-like responses based on the input it receives. Now, these models are trained on a vast amount of text data from diverse sources, which enables it to basically understand and generate coherent and contextually relevant responses. So this is something that we'll definitely check out throughout today's video. We're going to talk a little bit more about what you can do with this amazing application, why you would actually want to use this rather than ChatGPT or ChatGPT 3.5 or ChatGPT 4. Now we're also going to take a look at how you can install this locally on your desktop. So basically stay tuned throughout the video and I'll show you all these amazing things about Chatbox. So before we actually get into this video, it'd mean the whole world to me guys if you guys can go onto the YouTube page. Definitely subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video. Now if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, there's a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from. So definitely check it out. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for hitting the next milestone, which is 12k on the YouTube channel. I never expected this channel to blow up this crazy. So it's just amazing to see that we're seeing such growth on this channel. Um, finally, a little bit more free now. So start to expect to see more uploads on the daily front. You're going to start seeing more uploads on like a week to week basis. You're going to see daily uploads. You're gonna, you might even see like three to four uploads a day now because I'm getting a little bit more free. So definitely keep that in mind. And before we actually get into the video, it would mean the whole world to me, guys, if you guys can also follow the world of AI's Twitter page. If you guys haven't already, there's going to be a lot of AI news that will post over here so you can stay up to date in the AI world. So with that thought, guys, let's get right into the video. So as we talked about at the start, this is your own AI copilot on the desktop. So basically you can access ChatGPT on your desktop and this basically makes it a more seamless interaction for you as you're able to have the convenience and accessibility that it offers on your desktop. Now by running it as a desktop app, you as a user can have a dedicated interface to interact with as the AI copilot is using the need for a web browser on your desktop. Now this basically makes it easier for you to integrate Chatbox into various workflows and application, which basically provides a seamless and efficient user interface. Now, one of the most notable features of Chatbox is its ability to assist users in various tasks. It can basically provide information on a wide range of topics, answer questions, and engage in natural language con conversations. Now, whether it's seeking help with research, drafting a written content, generating ideas, or simply having a chat, Chatbox can serve as a reliable co-pilot. Now, additionally to this, with Chatbox, you're able to customize and extend to meet specific user requirements. And as an open source application, we know that developers as well as users can access its open source. So you're able to modify it and contribute to the improvements of this application. Now, this flexibility allows you as a user to tailor Chatbox to your own specific needs by integrating it into an existing system or building upon the functionalities of Chatbox on your own workflow. Now, however, it's important to actually note that while Chatbox can provide valuable assistance, it also has a lot of limitations. 
Now, the generated responses are basically based on patterns and examples from training data, which basically means that there is a possibility of occasions where there is going to be representations of inaccuracies or an in, in, like basic uh, incorrect information that might hinder your responses. So basically, it is crucial to verify and validate the responses that is obtained from chat box, especially when you're actually dealing with critical and sensitive tasks that you might give as a prompt. Now, we're also going to talk a little bit more about some of the main features. So let's move on to the next part where we actually talk a little bit more about the compelling reasons why you might actually choose chat box as your own AI copilot on the desktop. Now, firstly, I just want to talk about the enhanced productivity of Chatbox. So with this amazing application, you can significantly boost your productivity by providing instant assistance as well as information. You're able to gather the information that you require with its amazing, powerful prompt capability. They have a new system that they've installed within this application, and it helps you have powerful prompt capabilities whenever you send out a response or task to the AI Copilot. This way, it has a knowledge expansion feature, which leverages the power of GPT-4 as well as GPT-3.5 models. And basically what it does is that chat box, like it offers an access to a vast amount of information by having the access of these different API keys. So with from this, it takes the insights on wide range of topics so that it can help you stay up to date with the latest news trends as well as developments with the different types of responses that it generates so one thing i wanted to note is that the data that you generate while using this application on your desktop is stored locally and it will not be lost or shared to different third-party vendors so this is one thing that you want to note as people have a lot of privacy issues with using such applications so this is something that you want to have in mind when you can use this application it has a built-in ai service out of the box which an api key is actually not required so this is useful because sometimes you do not want to share your own api keys for different types of applications like this you're able to support gpt 3.5 as well as gpt 4 you can use azure open ai as well as chat glm you're able to support custom domain proxies as we talked about in the previous features uh, tab of this video we talked about how chatbox is an open source application which basically means that you can personalize as well as tweak certain things with this application on your desktop so this way you can customize it to your own preference as well as have it used for different use cases depending on what you want the actual copilot to actually perform you're able to see that you have a nice user interface you have the dark as well as the light mode and there's a lot of different features that you can talk about over here but what i want to talk about now is actually a quite important topic as to why you might actually use this rather than chat gpt you might ask yourself what's the actual reason or purpose of using such an application or an app when you can just use chat gpt by searching it up on your web browser well it's quite an answer that like it's quite something that you might think about and it's something that i was actually thinking about but one of the main things that i found useful about chatbox is its offline functionality now with chatbox as a own desktop app you're able to run it locally on your computer which allows you as a user to use it even when you don't have an internet connection and this is basically quite like useful in situations where you don't have uh, internet or you have a limitation or a limited restriction of using the actual internet access now another thing i wanted to talk about is that you're able to get an improved privacy and data control with chatbox while you're able to run an ai copilot on your desktop this basically means that you have your own conversations and data that remain on your desktop alone, your own machine that it's stored upon. So this means that none of the data that is gathered within the conversations that you compute with the AI Copilot are shared to the different external vendors. So this is something that eases your mind as well as your privacy. 
Now, another thing I want to talk about is the customization and extensibility of this amazing application. Now, as we said this multiple times in the video, this is an open source app, and which basically means that Chopbox allows you as a developer or a user to customize and extend the functionalities according to your own specific needs. Now, this flexibility enables you to integrate Chopbox into existing systems, modifying it to different types of behaviors or enhancing their own features to better align with your own requirements. Now, what this can do is that it could be designed to work on multiple operating systems such as Windows, Mac, and Linux, and have different types of preferences set up with the actual application, making it more accessible to users across different platforms, and as well as providing a consistent experience while eliminating the need for a browser-based interac interaction with certain types of use cases of your own application or your own AI powered copilot with chat box. So these are some of the things that got me thinking why I would want to use chat box rather than chat GPT on the web browser. Now let us actually take a look at how you can actually install this locally on your desktop. Now they have like actually made it super easy for you to install it. You just have to set it up by installing their own installation file. It's not something where you have to copy the git link and install it locally on your command prompt. This is quite easy. There's different types of platforms on which you can install it. You have Linux, Mac OS, as well as Windows. Windows, sorry, I keep saying Windows. But for this case, what you can also do is you can also use it online, which is quite useful. You can use the online feature by clicking the web online feature on their app on their website. Once this is loaded up, you can start playing around with it over here. Now, in my case, I'm not going to be using this because I want to show you guys on how you can install it. It's fairly easy. You just click the link over here, scroll down on their actual website, click the Windows link. I'll then install this file over here. You can clip it at your own discretion. Once it finishes installing the actual installation setup file, uh, you can easily click on it and it will then prompt you to start installing the files. So now I'm gonna click on it. It might take a couple of seconds. And they have a quite basic site that doesn't have a lot, but it's also gonna prompt you to this Windows protected, protected your PC by defending this unrecognized app from starting but basically it's basically saying that it's a virus when it's actually not so you want to click on more information and click run it anyways do this at your own discretion obviously i did my research and i know that this application is not doesn't have any vicious or harmful uh things that will hurt your desktop so do it at your own discretion i did my research if you want to take my word for it you could in my case, I installed it, guys, I do not see anything wrong with it. Now, what you can do is you can start inputting your API keys. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna click the save licensing with the different things that they provided. You can have your open API key, Azure open AI API key, as well as a chat GPT GLM 6 billion parameter key. They're also adding different things in the future. So have that in mind. In this case, I'm just gonna use the chat box AI easy access at the current moment. You can input your open API key by putting your API key over here and you can access it by going on open AI's API key website link. Now, in this case, I'm just gonna showcase the chat box AI easy access, or AI copilot, cause it's way more easier. Another thing you can also do is change the display font sizes, as well as change the themes. You can have it light, super dark, or a little bit gray. And you can also show the word count, show the estimated token count, which is very beneficial in case you have a limitation of how much you can use uh, in terms of generation. Uh, you can show the model names as well as show the word count. So I'm going to have all this saved and start chatting. Basically, you have a quite easy or like a quite appealing user interface, which you can see over here. You can start your own chat, have your own copilot set up over here, and you can have your own settings tab in which you can input your different types of API keys. So on the left, you actually have a lot of different examples of what you can actually use this helpful chat box 
AI Copilot for. You can see over here, you can have a uh, use of a translator as your AI Copilot. You can see there's different things that you can translate into different languages. As a software developer, you can help write code for different things. You can even have it as a social media influencer, a travel guide example over here in which you can ask it give me a seven day travel itinerary for japan and it helps you plan this obviously these are some of the things that you can do with chat gpt but in certain cases you can't have things formulated in tables as well as have code generated like this you can also have a picture box which is quite beneficial you can actually do this with chat gpt as they don't have this feature currently uh, in this case, I do not know what this three things say as it's not in the language that I know. So now what you can do is you can actually start chatting with its simple free access of the chatbot AI Copilot. So I'm just going to give it a prompt. Uh, let me just think about something and I'll give it a try. So I'm actually going to have to input my API key because the free access is not working. But once I have that pasted, you can actually change the model and tokenization by tweaking the temperature as well as the max con tokens in context. So I'm just going to keep the default settings for this and click saved. Now I'm going to ask it, what does chat box do? And have it formulate a different type of answer, which is quite fast if you think about it. You can also ask different things. Let's translate the above uh, prompt into French. And I don't know about you guys, but that was very fast. Now, I don't see ChatGPT doing this, but this is quite useful and this is an easy access so you can even also export the different types of data that you have so in this case you have something like this formulated as a chat and what you can do is then export this chat as an export.md file and you can have it saved onto your desktop and this way you can send it out to people or have it posted on a different application so this is quite beneficial as well as showcasing you what you can actually do with chat box and in the end guys this is just an amazing way for you to access the full functionalities of chat box which is a powerful and flexible ai copilot application which is built off of chat gpt 3.4 or 3.5 and chat gpt 4 models from open ai's api key now it offers a convenient and accessible way for you to interact with the AI Copilot on the desktop platform, which provides you as a user with assistance, information, and engaging conversations with your own AI Copilot. So I hope you found this video on Chatbox quite beneficial. Uh, this is an amazing application that I recommend that you check out if you guys haven't already. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys haven't already, definitely give uh, my YouTube page a follow subscribe i mean turn on the use uh turn on the notification bell like this video and if you guys want to see a certain type of video definitely comment that in the description below so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys soon spread positivity uh have a smile and i'll see you guys next time peace out fellas